Hey everyone, this is Suja. Thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome to bed episode number nine, numero nueve. So without further ado, let's begin. So this is Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going up. Uh, there's a cross on the stochastics, which is great. Okay, so let's look at price break. I've said it before, once this price break area breaks, we should be heading to this area, right? The 61,274. And in that area, once that breaks, well, you know, we're going to 65,000. It's just, it's just what's going to happen. Just kidding, right? By the way, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm only doing this to improve my own skill set and my own analysis. So when I look back, I can be like, oh yeah, I was a total idiot with this analysis point, but I was a genius when it came to this. So again, if you're watching, nothing is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for my own sort of development. Plus it's fun to put things out on the internet. You know, it's pretty interesting. All right, so this is what's going on here. Um, I'm not seeing any other signals. Interestingly enough, we had this hammer signal that didn't really play out. Um, so I don't know. I really like hammers <laughs> when the Renko. Um, so if it goes here, right here at the 60,000 mark, that's great. But after that, it needs to go at least two or three more. It needs to at least hit the 65,000 area. I'm going to do a little bit of indicator fun. So let's see. Let's go see our Trollinger bands. So usually, all right, so yeah, it'll probably hit this area, the 61,328, come back a little bit down and then pop it. So interesting. Trollinger bands. What does the MACD say? MACD is, MACD is not that critical at this point, okay. Oh yeah, I had the Bollinger Band here. All right, let's see what indicator. Hash ribbons. No signal on the hash ribbons. I just deleted my, Jesus, no. That one was the most fun one that I had. All right. Mm. All right, there we go. I hope it was saved. Oh, I have to redo. All right, whatever. Uh, all right, so mm -hmm. what does my TD sequential says? Ah, looky, looky, TD sequential goes one, two. Might be a buildup. All right, cool. Lovely. All right, so everything looks good for Bitcoin. Mm, I think I think we still have a little bit more momentum to go. I'm not seeing any dumpy to dump yet yet um again i am waiting for bitcoin to break sixty thousand at this point so there's that and look the momentum has changed right look at this kage is saying momentum has changed so that's bitcoin so let's go to ethereum i wanted to show you something on ethereum and what i wanted to show you was basically the renko for ethereum the ethereum renko is just beautiful because look remember what i said i love hammers Look at this pattern. You have one hammer and you have one, two, three, four, five, six bricks. One hammer, this is the first brick. Two, three, four, five, six. So there's a there's a huge chance of continuation. And not only that, but look at the Kage, right? So one, two, three, dump. One, two, three, four, no dump. It's probably gonna go to five and it's probably gonna do this thing right here. So let's look at this. Let's Let's measure this, right? Let's measure how high it went. Roughly 900%. You know what? I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you a thousand just because if we do the same sort of measurement from here, right? From here and we go 900%, we're looking at 17,000 per Ethereum. So 17,000 per coin. Like, I'm not entirely sure if everybody who's watching me is super invested in Ethereum, but if you aren't, well, it's your investment decision. Again, not a financial advisor, but like if I am correct, which I may not be, 100% may be fundamentally wrong. I'm looking at $17,000 worth of bit or Ethereum, which is insane. 
<laughs> two grand <laughs> will look like chump change compared to 17 grand. <laughs> so this is uh, really interesting. If I'm correct, I may be completely wrong, but my highest would be 17 before there's a dumpy dump. And it may take the whole year to play that out, right? But, um, you know, I don't think anyone is late to the game of um, Ethereum, at least not yet. You know, back when you could buy it for like $4 would have been, you know, <laughs> that's when it was like the best, you know, and it went down to like $8, $10, whatever. But yeah, now that it's coming up here in the 2000s, this is good, you know, and if it does this pattern that I just showed you, we're looking at $70,000 worth of ETH. May not be this way, right? But there's a chance given the uh, the Renko. And even the price break is actually showing that, hey, you know, all time high. <laughs> and look, look, usually once this goes up, it there's a line, there's a, there's a consistent line before it comes crashing down, you know. So good chance to get in. So I'm just gonna do a paper trade here. I'm gonna buy, um, Create new order. I'm gonna buy, say, all right, I'm just gonna goof off by 10, right? Take profit at uh, 17 grand, $17,000. All right, and then I need a stop loss. So my stop loss will be here. One, if it, I don't think it'll ever actually come down to 1,000, but no, maybe not 1,000. My stop loss would be roughly 14,422. So 14,422. No, it's not letting me. Oh, sorry. It's 1,400, not 14,000. So, you know, 